I'm sorry. Do I have something on my face? Welcome to the tribe of two chicken or sika. Ow. 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 The things I do to entertain you guys. Whoo! This new CPU cooler is cool looking. What's going on guys? Welcome back. So some things have come in the mail and I got to show it to you. So solution number one, I'm like, I want to mount something to the wall and then I want to hang my truck on it. So I bought these. These are actually two for one. And you're thinking, well, what the hell is this thing? I'll show you what it is. Look, check it out. You mount it to your wall like this, and it comes with two of them. Okay, see, it's mine's 16 inches long. <laughs> Ladies. Uh, anyway, it's 16 inches long. So you mount it to the wall, and then you sit your truck on it. And then when you're ready to declap, you push this button here, and it will lay flush against the wall. So that way you don't have this thing protruding out. So, and then when you're ready for it, it just pops back up and then you can sit your truck on it. So I'm gonna mount this on the wall somewhere and that's where my truck's gonna sit. And I'm gonna get multiple of them so that way I can hang all my vehicles on it. But I wanna show you guys this. All right, so that's what was, uh, I believe in there. Uh, we got some LED strips. This is for the computer build that we're working on. Um, LED strips, gotta have that. Oh, check this out. Look at this for all my computer people. Mm. We have the new processor that's going to power our new workstation. This is an Intel Xeon X. 5690 bro 5690 Woo! this thing run up at well you know it claims it can hit 3.4 gigs but we'll find out it has a 12 megabyte cache it's 2011 i think is when this CT cpu was released but this thing is a beast compared to the cpu that i did have in it i had like a four core eight thread this thing uh i believe is six core 12 thread no maybe it's eight core it's a xeon i'll have to look into it but it's pretty much a beast and we needed it so computer thing coming together uh what's in here what's in here what is this oh arma parts these are uh, some shock caps and stuff uh for the arma just in case but those actually look like not the right part i don't know not worried about it Moving on, check this out. You guys are gonna love this. This is really cool. Look, this is the motor system, the ESC in motor for the grasshopper, right? That came today, isn't that cool? And then here's the motor, the brushed motor. This is gonna be cool too. Look at that. Oh, how beautiful. It's a 12 turn brush. It's a non-fixable, 
motor, meaning if this motor burns out, you can't replace the brushes in it because it's a fixed motor. Uh, I didn't know that. That sucks. Anyway, it's a 12 turn. That's all we're going to need is just a 12 turn. Uh, but anyway, speaking on that, all right. Ugh. Oh, that's not it. Where is it at? Oh, it's up here. All right. Talking about the the ESC and the speed control and stuff. Check this out. Look. Our batteries came today. Yay. I bought one. And I bought two. I bought two of them. Right? Seven point, what? Two volt? Seven point four volt? Whatever it is. Uh, 6,200 cells, man. This was literally the highest nickel metal battery that i could find that had 6200 that's a really good run time but anyway the reason of all of this if you're going to run batteries especially these batteries a lot of the chargers decharge the batteries for you but i'm old school we don't we don't discharge nickel metal hydride batteries that way Oh, by the way, speaking of nickel metal hydride, I did get our nickel metal hydride charger in. It's just a standard charger, nothing too fancy, just plug and play, but it doesn't drain the batteries. And you don't want that because if the battery is like 20% charged and then you go to recharge it, what happens is, is you develop memory and you don't want memory. You basically kill off the battery whatever you charge so if there's 20 percent left in the battery and then you go to charge it without fully discharging it you just lost that 20 percent in that battery it's called memory buildup and it only happens in in these style of batteries so Alright, so we're going to currently put this small little project on hold. I know I bounce around a lot. That's what I do. Over here, we're trying to get this ready, but this is going to be for the grasshopper video. Another story. But, tires. I found out that not only did I blow the inside of one tire, but I blew the inside of three tires. The inside bead is completely blown out. So, I got some CA, this is uh, some factory team, some good stuff right here. And what we're going to do is, I probably won't be able to do it with the camera, but I'm going to roll that lip back and then try to glue it and push it down and hold it at the same time. Alexa, pause. Okay, so this definitely did not come out the way that I originally wanted to, but the idea is definitely there. Uh, the positive, and I don't know if I got it right. I don't know if this is the positive or that's the negative side. If not, I just flip it out and plug it in and it'll be fine. But anyway, so the positive, quote unquote positive, is ran through all the bottom of the bulbs. And then the other side is soldered to the back side using the blue wire. And then we just terminate that until 
the Tamaya connector. getting anything really can't believe this didn't work maybe I'm using the wrong type of bulbs maybe I'm using too many of them maybe I'm using too little of them I don't know they're four watt bulbs um, so if you guys know a little bit more about electricity than I do let me know um, because I did I built something like this like 10 15 years ago and it worked great and it was real simple I basically did the same thing here but this isn't working so if y'all have any suggestions or comments on how to get this up and running please let me know um, it's a great idea you need to discharge your battery or just go ahead and buy a battery charger that does discharging